I'm so excited. I'm so excited to take care of you. You are my favorite. I love coming here. It's like the best. Oh, I love seeing you. You know, you have like I, all my clients are good, but then you have like clients that are like spectacular. Oh. Yeah, that you're like, yes, I get to hang out with like a cool person. <laughs> this is the Boho Cleansing Balm. You can find it on Amazon. I love this stuff. Yeah. What do you love about it? I just feel like it removes everything so well. It feels good on my skin. Best makeup remover of your life. It is so good. That's the stuff you gave me last time, right? Uh-huh. Okay. The Limpy awesome. Balm? Yes. This is a clean beauty product that I designed to repair the barrier of your skin, annihilate blackheads, and clean out those pores. This is new. I know. It feels so good. I like it. It's like a little silicone scrubby guy. Mmm. Oh, actually, this will be perfect. I have one of your eyelashes on. 
we so have, we did, we, yeah, we'll get that. One of the eyelash. We did lose one eyelash in the process of cleansing. One man down. I'm just going to get all that out. Yeah. First. I'm actually going to give you a... That's it. Get some more clap. Oh, okay. <laughs> What a, what a detailed husband. He really is. He's so good. We love details. <laughs> Did you know that's the answer? It's the answer more clappy. That's so funny. <laughs> looking so good. Is it looking better? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. How do you feel about it? I feel like it is, it is improving a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like those microneedling sessions really, really helped so far. I think today I'm going to change it up and we're going to do a progressive peel first and then I'm going to dermaplane you and then we'll do a booster from Hydrofacial okay. and then we'll do a jelly. Okay. Um, What's a progressive peel? It's a peel it's like there's different tiers of peeling there's mm -hmm. progressive peel which means like you get benefits of a chemical peel but you don't peel at all you just glow okay and we know you're about that glazed mm -hmm. donut skin life mm -hmm. so it'll be good okay. um a mid depth means like your peel like a bad sunburn mm -hmm. and then deep peel you peel like a lizard like snake mm -hmm. woman we're not okay. doing that today okay <laughs> we're just doing the baby peel okay, okay. that okay. you just glow from but mm -hmm. it will help to like lighten up scarring more Okay. And so I think it'll be really great for you. And then okay. we'll dermal clean. Okay. And because we know you love it. Mm -hmm. It's your Gotta addiction. I'm going to do a little test spot to make sure your skin can handle it. Okay. Do you feel any tingles? A little bit tingles. On a scale of one, you don't feel this at all. Ten, get off your face. What number would you say you are? Mm -hmm. Maybe a six or seven. It's not bad. It's a little tingly, but... That's pretty tingly. <laughs> um, not bad. It's fine. Um, let me see if I have a lower strike, because that's pretty high. A tingle. It's, like, not unmanageable, honestly. Well, like, honestly, like, it's not bad. I think um, it's fine. Do you, is it subsiding? Mm-hmm. Okay, what number is it at now? Like a four. Okay. Okay. It's I'm going to put it on. I'm going to leave it on for probably two minutes, and we'll remove it. Because okay. it sounds like your skin can handle more, but I think your skin will really like it. Okay. So this is going to help with the scarring more. Mm hmm And make you really pop. It really just feels like my face itches. Mm -hmm. that spot. It's not like painful, it's more itchy. This is a blend of lactic acid and lactic can feel like itchy like that. Mm hmm And then it's salicylic to kill off bacteria too. Next treatment. I think we need to pull out the big dude, the big guns. What's the big guns? I think I'm gonna either do resurfix on you or ooh, we can even do resurfix today. What is that? It's a laser. And so ooh. it's just a little bit more aggressive. Um and that'll help us crying too. Yeah, I think we'll do like think? three of those. Well no me though, so you don't have to be in pain. Okay, cool. That's fast. Yeah, I mean if you want to start that today, I'm down. If you think my face can handle it. Mm -hmm. I think it can. I am going to Alabama next week, so I want to be, like, as, like, awesome looking as possible. <laughs> you There's a lot of collabs there, so. Yeah, we're doing a lot of collabs with oh, some fine. other creators. So, um, I want my face to be, like, glowy. Yes, ma'am. I got you. You know, people always ask me, why is your face so glowy? And I'm like, um, because Paul is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not anything I'm doing, I'm pretty sure. No, it is. We're, it's a two-way street. We're a good we're skincare. A yes, we're a team. You have to do your stuff at home. You can't go home and use, like, apricot scrub on your face. Oh, yeah, like, my gosh. It would destroy your face. The fact that I feel like so many of us did that in our teen years. We didn't know. Okay. We had no idea what we were doing to ourselves. It's horrible. Hey, but I would rather take apricot scrub than, like, uh, people in their, like, 50s, 60s, like, baking in the sun with like oh, aluminum gosh. foil and like putting oh. iodine in their hair and like rub it lathering and like oh, baby oil 
like frying their skin. I I did both. I mean, I was okay. in my fifties, but I did all the taming, and it was so bad for me. It's so bad because you're so white. I'm super pasty, and, and so like you have no skin protection no. naturally. No, and I would get super dark. Like, super, really? super dark. Yes. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. But I would tan all year long in the tan uh, bed. Oh. So, yeah, it was really, really horrible. My when, skin is taking a toll. When did you stop that? Like, how many years? I tanned from maybe, like, 15 years old. I think it's when I started tanning. Because um, I was a cheerleader. And, like, all the other girls were tan. And, like, I had my little, like, white legs. And I was like, mmm. I'm gonna have to tan. <laughs> so I started tanning at like 15, and then I oh, I stopped at like 25 today. Mm -hmm. 25 wow. or 26 or something like that. More time. Um, but I still tan outside, like in the summer, but with sunscreen. Okay. And it wasn't like necessarily as yeah. bad, but not good either. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Did you still get tan with sunscreen? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Not as dark, but uh -huh. I did. That's the biggest, I feel like, misconception with, like, sunscreen yes. is that it doesn't prevent you from getting dark. It prevents you from getting the UV ray yes. damage and premature aging. Yes. So, for those of you guys out there, letting Kim K influence you to be in the tanning bed. Don't okay. do it. Don't do it, but if you're going to do it, because I can't stop you, wear sunscreen at yeah, least. Yeah, just put sunscreen on. It helps so much. Anyway backtrack do not get in the tanning bed okay yeah. i'm not endorsing it <laughs> but if you're gonna do it sunscreen some natural sun just outside oh so good for you yeah yes also natural sun increases your vitamin d like mm -hmm. tenfold and that actually helps with anxiety depression and even acne it has so many benefits it, i can definitely test for the acne because last summer when i was pregnant my acne was so bad and i would get outside at the pool and I would just sit out there and my acne actually felt like it got better. The power of the sun. Believe it or not, we are created to be in the sun. That's true. Like, if we was always dark all the time, like, mm -hmm. it was not good. That's where, mm -hmm. like, people get seasonal depression because they can't get outside in the winter time, yeah. you know? Mm hmm I went through that and at the same time, like, just having a baby, so it was, like, double the, like, baby blues slash seasonal depression mm -hmm. it's yeah. rough yeah it's so rough. pregnancy like at postpartum mm -hmm. or even just like pregnancy in general is like no joke people don't talk about it enough no they don't we're gonna neutralize this so i'm gonna hold you're gonna hold your breath okay okay you can breathe again it's gonna get a little tingly and then it subsides okay mm -hmm. Smells like rotting, like sulfur, like eggs, you know? Mm hmm. <laughs> it's magnesium bicarbonate, neutralizing the acid. Do you feel any itchy, tingly, burning? Mm, not really, no. Maybe just a little bit around my lips, but not bad. Okay. I don't want it to itch or tingle anymore because that means it's not neutralized in that area. Mm. And if I leave it on, it'll cause a skin rash, and we don't want that. Oh, yeah. No. 
and that's kind of opposite of what we wanted today. So be really picky with me. Okay. Like for the most part, I don't really feel. Does it just little. feel like fresh? Yeah. Fresh is fine, but I don't I like want it to be tingly, itchy, none of that. It's maybe like a two, or, or maybe like a one and a half. Around your mouth and stuff? Kind of like my forehead, I think. And I okay. might like, I'm gonna do germ lining, and if it still feels itchy, because sometimes it takes like a second to settle down. Okay. Then we'll go back. This is the part K where she takes all of my, my skin off. <laughs> Dead skin. <laughs> Dead skin. You know, hair. No, you don't have to. I was just letting you know. It is really satisfying to watch. You would love a Hydra facial. Because it's like, not to put you in a stereotype, but all guys like hydrofacial because it doesn't feel as floofy, you know? And it's more of like going to the dentist to getting a skin clean out, but a way better experience. Yeah. I don't think he's wise, so. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I try. He doesn't listen to me. So. <laughs> he's, he's the worst. And like, he doesn't wear sunscreen. I took Accutane when I was younger, so I don't, I like can't get acne really. Well, I get a little uh -huh. renowned on your little bump, but. Yeah. So I, it's I not just I for acne, you still have what to about take care like of your skin. Aging well. Yeah. I'm not doing that very well. No, he's not. Because yeah. then, if, if you don't take care of it now, everyone's going to think, Kay's your daughter. <laughs> That's true. I'm just saying, Kay, That's someone's got to let you know. <laughs> just because you're a guy doesn't mean like your skin's different. And you still have skin. Yes, you do still have skin. And also, there's been like a wave of like, guys need self care too. Just, mm -hmm. It's not a girl thing. Mm -hmm. It's a human being thing. That's true. It's kind of like your teeth, you know? Yeah. It's like saying, I'm never going to go to the dentist. I'm a guy. A... Yes. <laughs> yes. It's coming. If you let me pop your cherry, I'm going to change your life. <laughs> <laughs> and it would, it would change my life, too, because then I get to see you look all glowy and yeah. clean. Do you guys want to hear a secret? Mm-hmm. Okay, so all guys, like, they don't want their girls to get lip filler for the first time. They're like, no, babe, because the people that, like, get addicted to lip filler mm -hmm. give people a bad rep for, like, mm -hmm. normal lip filler, you mm -hmm. know, that just plumps it up. Mm -hmm. It happens to me every single time I do a lip filler on a patient. Mm -hmm. Their husbands, and, like, are freaking out. They're like, we can't tell him. And then they end up getting it, and they're like, they love kissing their lips. There's like, there's just something about like kissing juicier full lips. Mm -hmm. It's magical, okay? Mm -hmm. Like little so, pillows. Yes. So, the tea is, I want to have softer, fuller lips to kiss too. But Trey won't let, <laughs> do, let me do lip filler on him. So, the circadian lip serum increases your natural lip volume by 40%. I love that stuff. It's so good. I've just told Trey it's like hydrates his lips. And when he isn't He's know. been using it. Yeah, he doesn't know that I'm growing his lips. <laughs> 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 That's funny. So I'm gonna do his skincare soon and tell him that I've been growing his lips. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Isn't that funny? That's yeah, he great. doesn't know, but I've been having more like juicier lipstick kiss, you know? Yeah. I've been jealous of all the guys. <laughs> Like, I want it too. That's so funny. Oh, he said he won't let me fill his lips. So. Yeah. <laughs> Next best thing. Mm -hmm. I honestly can't imagine getting facial without getting dermaplane because I just find it like so satisfying. Oh, yeah. It's literally an addiction. But the best type of addiction. Mm -hmm.
the first day or two after I get dermal print, <laughs> it's like super soft and smooth, but then I have like a couple of days where it's like rough. Mm -hmm. What is that? It could be that. But it goes away. Like sensitivity from dermaplaning. Mm -hmm. I'll do less passes and mm -hmm. see if that helps. And then also, um, using the honey cleanser right after you know those days where you start to feel rough mm -hmm. will help like the cell turnover because sometimes mm -hmm. um the hairs get like blocked if you will mm -hmm. um after dermal cleaning and that just helps to like remove dead skin cells so it doesn't mm -hmm. block and create like any sensitivity or breakouts okay Do you want to see all the dermaplaning gunk? Ew. I'm glad you got that off. Yeah.
jelly masks are literally the bane of my existence because mm -hmm. they're really hard to like put on and they drip just everywhere and mm -hmm. when they get on like my towel like now i have to throw away this towel because i won't be able to get it out so i take off your headband and it just gets everywhere they're so messy i'm like is it user error or is it the mask i don't know <laughs> i've tried to be a jelly mask master but i'm not <laughs> not my forte everyone has their strengths <laughs> Mine is not jelly, but I do it because they're so much fun to like mix up and put on. They feel good. Mm -hmm. People like them. Now it is going to drip a little bit more. It'll harden though, and then like I'll just it'll peel out of your hair, or peel out wherever. Mm -hmm. oh, like this part here. <laughs> this is a massage candle. It's strawberry dreams. It's going to be so yummy. Smells like strawberries. Yes. Oh. So, like, you know, stressful situations. Mm -hmm. That right side is like, ooh. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Oh. Do you have a massage therapist? No. Okay, I have a friend. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you information. <laughs> is that bad? You just... Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's for the major cut. You'll feel better afterwards. Ooh. Breathe. working on pre-pilling if you could be friends with any celebrity who would you be friends with i feel i feel like i would be really good friends with selena gomez mm, that's a good answer i'm not really sure why but i just feel like like we're like the same age she has lupus i have autoimmune stuff as well and i just feel like we have a lot like a lot in common <laughs> Selena Gomez, you have a new friend? Anxiety, you know, like, we just be like, be like little buds, you know? Um, what is that app that you spend the most time on on your phone? Instagram. Yeah. For sure. Are you into, like, stories, shopping, like, reels? Um, I like watching stories, but I would say, like, I really prefer, like, just scrolling through my, like, Re like the reels mm -hmm. and I look at like mom content <laughs> like yeah, how to be a for babies and, and yeah really love that 
what is a hobby that you grew up doing that like which Mm -hmm. ones did you love and which ones did you hate so when I was five my mom tried to get me to play soccer and I refused to play until she had everybody in the stands turn around and not watch me (gasps) so long story short I didn't ever play oh my god (laughs) so I was just on the team for a whole season you were the cheerleader yeah I was it was so bad like she didn't ever put me in it again obviously (laughs) um but then as I got older I actually did choir and I got really into choir for several years you sing Mm -hmm. yeah I love I love singing I don't sing like for people anymore but I used to sing a lot I think people would love to hear your voice I've had people tell me like oh, you need to sing like you have the platform now and I'm like I don't know it's been so long like I don't know if I ever want anybody to hear me but maybe, maybe just pull it out as a party trick that's true I could do that I used to do that they yeah. used to make me sing for people actually on our honeymoon we were in this like Irish pub and he was telling everybody oh yeah she can sing and he ended up getting me to sing Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. Ooh, wow. In an Irish pub. That's fun. Dang, girl, that is a song. That's, like, not the song. That's not a song for, like, the faint of heart. No, it's a, it's a pretty tough song to sing. I love it. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite party tricks. That's how you know you're good. So we can just, like, randomly put <laughs> that out. Like, that song particularly. Yeah. And she's amazing. She's a good singer. This is so sad. When it comes off of the brows. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's got more It does. It does. You want to hold it? Yeah. It's. it's here it's like almost all gone yeah well I feel like this left side was worse mm-hmm. like all, like even on my chin I don't know though but like I have more pitted scars on this side I just, uh, just a little bit more this one's pigmented and the other one's pitted mm-hmm. I don't know what I hate worse probably the, the pitted because uh, that'll work it will Today, the laser that we're doing, the resurfix, mm-hmm. really helps with pitted scars and oh, pigmented. And it annihilates blackheads. Mm. It does so many things. And tightens your skin, smooths wrinkles. Do I need to do it on my nose then? Yeah, we can do it on your nose. If it does something for blackheads, I feel like I get them on my nose. Does it do anything for, um, um, we're just going on your face, okay? <laughs> like, what else do you got in there? What else does it do? It does. It does wrinkles, though. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, it's one of my favorite modalities that I have here at Boho. It's called a resurfix laser. It's a fractionated laser. This is a little ceram wrap. This reminds me of Dexter. Yes. The show. I used to tell people I'm not Dexter and you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I have another one that's actual like ceram wrap that I pull out, and oh. I totally feel like Dexter. Mm-hmm. But then I upgraded and got little masks, so that way you can open your eyes, or people can be on their phone, or whatever. Mm. I feel like she's like a really good baby, you know. She's sleeping good through the night. She sleeps all night. Mm. I actually have to wow. wake her up most mornings feed her. That's amazing. It's really good. Knock on wood because I'm sure there's going to be like a sleeper rushing coming or something. I guess it's too good to be true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
You feeling okay? Oh yeah, I felt like pretty numb. Sweet. My lips feel kind of numb. That's a good sign. Okay, good. Like more than usual. Like, um, in a good way. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. I'm just saying it. This one's a stronger any cream that I've ever used on you, so that could mm -hmm. be it. Because this is more medical. Like, okay. This service without an cream is really painful. We'll yeah. just say that. Yeah. No, <laughs> without the you. really good stuff. Cut your eyeballs. You okay? Mm hmm. Definitely still feel it, but. It's a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Do you think extractions are worse? Or do you think this is worse? Mm -hmm. Extractions. Mm -hmm. A little spicy in here. This is the part you should be extra thankful you don't have a big forehead. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner between those? Dinner. Dinner? For sure. What is your favorite thing to eat? Anything, I feel like Italian. Oh yeah? Italian is really good. I'm a big comfort food person too, so like something I can put in a bowl and eat with like a fork mm. or a spoon. That's like a lot of things. <laughs> Which is not good. Yeah. And then at dinner, I just like go ham. Mm -hmm. Not on purpose. I'm just so busy. Yeah, no, I get that. It's hard to I didn't even eat lunch today, so I understand. I haven't eaten anything yet, except matcha. Mm -hmm. Which is not good, I know. Don't tell my trainer. <laughs> She'd be mad at me. I did have oatmeal this morning, which is like, I'm really bad about eating breakfast because I just never, I'm not super hungry in the mornings. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look like a cherry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, you're gonna feel like a sunburn for about a day, and then usually in the morning time when you wake up, it feels much better. I don't want you taking any like Tylenol or ibuprofen, nothing that would take out the inflammation, because we want the inflammation that I'm laying underneath your skin okay. to create um, collagen. Okay. So you have to put on your big girl panties. You got this. Your hands will distract you. Yes. You feel like this is more effective than microneedling? I do. Mm -hmm. 
So then, since you like comfort food, mm -hmm. you must like cheese, right? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. What kind of cheese girly are you? Mmm. Gosh, I like so many. It depends on, like, what I'm having it on. If I'm just gonna, like, eat it by itself. I really like cheddar cheeses. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm a big cheese fan, so, like, I like all cheese. Like, not, even the weird ones. Even Velveeta? Okay, not that. <laughs> That's not real cheese, though. <laughs> I am weird about my cheese. I'm like kind of a cheese snob and like I don't like plastic fake cheese. Well, if you like, you're a cheese snob. Mm -hmm. Do you like truffle? So that's the one. What? I'm not a huge fan of truffle. What? I know, I know. And everybody tells me that. They're like, you're a che cheese lover. You don't have to, I mean, it's not my favorite. Do you like blue cheese then? I love blue cheese. Okay. At least we got that. And I'm going in and I'm just like filling the gaps because mm -hmm. you'll see you can clearly see my line I missed oh, okay because <laughs> you turn pink mm -hmm. and I want you one even red cherry mm -hmm. your skin in the next couple days will be a little pink a little mm -hmm. swollen you're gonna feel like a sunburn okay um and it's gonna feel maybe in like four days-ish, three to four, because of cell turnover, your face will feel like sandpaper. Okay. It doesn't look crazy by this point, but it just feels like rough to the touch. Mm -hmm. And just embrace it as like new skin cells coming in, okay. which we're here for. Right, right. You can wear makeup. Okay, okay. Because I'm only putting a, tra a trauma underneath your skin. I'm not mm -hmm. opening up wounds on top. Mm -hmm. That would prevent you from not being able to wear makeup. Mm -hmm. So okay. your tinted sense. sunscreen that you already love, and it'll be enough to cover it. Okay. So it's not crazy by that time. Okay. Microneedling, it like injures the surface of it, and then this like is under the surface? Correct. Okay. I actually love doing the combination together because mm -hmm. then we get maybe that's what we can do next time. Mm -hmm. Even more heavy duty treatment is that we're treating more of the under skin and mm -hmm. the surface, like both mm -hmm. it's providing traumas to like multiple layers of your skin. So okay. that your skin's like, holy shit, we gotta make a ton of collagen to heal. Mm This? this is post peel balm by circadia it's like a healing recovery balm mm. and it helps like just take out that sting mm -hmm. now i need you to give me your best asmr <laughs> lip noises is that good pretty good not on your level, but it's it's getting there. It will do, donkey. It will do. This is my favorite sunscreen of all time. Glow makes your skin look like a glazed mm -hmm. donut. And then Flex. This one's like viral right now on TikTok. That's the one I use. It's pretty good. I love it. It's gonna adjust to you, and I actually love mixing them together. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It gets like a glowy full coverage. I'm just hoping it doesn't like skin adapt and turn more red. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it will, but I'm just thinking about that.
Thank you for allowing me to spoil you today. Thank you. I can't wait to see your results. I know, I'm super excited.